H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. This conference will now be recorded. Is on. And I hope you guys are able to see my screen now. And uh, what is this? Did not... um, okay. All right. So uh, from today, you would see this dark, dark screen. I hope that is OK with you guys. Can I quickly get a, a vote on uh, this dark, uh, dark screen? Is it OK for you guys? um to see that can i quickly get a vote guys that you are okay with the dark screen okay ida says yes all right okay all right okay so uh, let's get started now uh, in the previous session we spoke about uh, uh, many things like oh, all the basics though we spoke about the uh, data types and we understood what is a data type though so we saw that um, if you want to store a integer then you need to have a integer data type if you want to store a floating point okay you cannot store this in an uh, in a integer data type because integer only supports uh, uh, without without dots okay without periods or without any fractions so uh, every data what you think about has got a data type also okay likewise for example you see that uh, we even spoke about character also right m with single quotes so m is a single character and you can store that character only in a, in in a in i mean you can give anything here doesn't matter but all you do is you have to use a proper data type here Okay, what type of data it is. So that's very important for any program to understand. Uh, so Dinesh, I, uh, Dinesh is our new um, student here. Allows the sound after you said starting in few minutes. All right, are you good right now, Dinesh? Just give me a moment, folks. Are you good now? Nish. Mr. Jairam? Yes, are you good now? Uh, Dinesh, I'm able to hear you actually. Okay, I am able to hear you. Just give me a few seconds, guys. Mm. Check. Yes, but I cannot uh, hear you. In the beginning, I heard you say you are starting in few minutes. But if yes, you're after that, I cannot hear you. That is good. Of the two your system or use microphone. Okay. All right. So Dinesh is trying to join. Um, he has joined, but he has got some problems here. Let's wait for a moment. Hey. Let's get started, guys. All right. So um, that's what we saw in the previous uh, class uh, that we spoke about a data type. And uh, we understood that what 
if depending on what kind of data you have it so this is data right so you would be having that kind of data type also so like we have got something as a true or false on the right uh, so we had something as on the left hand side as a boolean so boolean is also a data type okay and uh, i i hope you guys are able to check in check out uh, those files and uh, i have already checked in the uh, code i uh, well i did not check in the code last uh, for the last session but i did it right now so if you guys any uh, guys have any problems with the code checking check out and out uh, let me know on that okay so uh, let me just i don't need this one here keep it here All right i just want to keep this big um you cannot find the homework that's strange so the homework is somewhere I think I gave you the link last time. So that is a repository assignment. So directly go inside uh, Jeram Raut assignment. And under that, you have got Java assignment core assignment one. So just copy this link. I'm just going to give it to you again. So there's no way you can find it. Uh, I mean, there's no way you cannot find it. So paste this, use this one. Okay. Sorry, I gave it to everyone. It looks like it's under 29. Um, no, it's not under 29. Control this. Oh. Yeah, so I've given it to everyone. So use this one here. Okay, so Dinesh, how, how are we uh, looking now? Are you able to hear me now? Okay, so looks like Dinesh still has some problems. So today, let's continue. Uh, we'll talk about a couple of more things here. We'll talk about what is an array and uh, what are the other different. Uh... So we spoke about integer floating, and then we spoke about operators also. And then we uh, we will be using this bitwise operator. We'll not use a lot, by the way. Um, uh, so let's let's jump on to this relational operator, OK? So yeah, so bitwise operator will not use much, though. So talking about this relational operator, um, we will be using this relational operator pretty much almost all the time. Okay. So what does that? Uh, what it does actually? So if I go back here, okay. Now let me just drag and drop this. Close all the unwanted things. Okay. So let me just go ahead and create a new file out here. I don't need this file. So copy this, paste it. I would just say relational operator. OK? All right. So this is my file. I'll just say relational operator. And just, just keep all these things here, OK? Um, okay, let me just remove it. All right. So the very first relational operator is uh, equals to equals to, correct? So what does that mean? Uh, let's say, for example, um, I would say int height, okay, is equals to five feet, for instance, here. And I would just say um, int uh, let's say, for example, this is Tom height. Tom is a person. This is Mark height, right? So this is also, for ex uh, instance, it is five, right? Now, what does this relational operator does here is equals to equals to. It basically checks whether something is equal or not. On the left-hand side and right-hand side operators are same or not. So this is M-A-R-K. Uh, these are pretty easy things, guys. So I would just say sys out. And uh, I want to check, right? Tom height is equals to equals to mark height, right? So the output of a relational operator is either going to be a true or false. And we have already seen a data type known as a true or false, OK? So let's run this. 
fine and you can see and output it as as a true correct so always relational operator either it can be equals or not equals right for instance here so if i say this copy this paste it here and let me just take another height here and just say peter height and if i just say this as six right now i know that tom height is equals to mark height now when i say tom height not equals to mark height is it, is it a true statement because tom height and mark height both are same actually right if i use not equal so this is a not okay not not equals to mark height then this is going to give me a false statement right so let me just say this out and i would just say uh, tom height equals to tom height okay likewise i'll just copy this one paste it here paste it here so this is mark and this is peter and this is peter mark okay so now i know that uh, if i run this real quick run a java application See this uh, tom height is five uh, five and six here and the first statement is true because yes we have already seen that and the second statement is false because tom height is is it not equal to no it is it is false because both are same okay now if i copy this paste it here now if i'm going to say if tom's height is not equals to peter's height right let me just do one other thing here just to show you in the output as well plus okay so now as this is we have got multiple statements here so i have to kind of put this in a in a bracket okay so right click run as java application now see this it says tom site is not equals to peter site it's a question mark it's a true here okay so likewise you have something as a greater than less than i think it's pretty straightforward and greater than equals to or less than equals to so for example out here if i just say so tom's height is uh less than or equals to right so less than equals to peter's site correct so if i run this run a java application right so when I say yes, is is Tom's height less than equals to Peter's height? I'm using the equation out here. It is true because Tom's height is five uh, and Peter's height is six here. Okay. So you would use this conditions a lot more. Or remember this one equals to not equals to greater than less than greater than equals to and less than equals to. So I think we all know by this name itself. If I'm saying greater than, it has to be greater than. Okay. It cannot be same. Fine. So if I say is Tom's height greater than uh, Mark's height? No, both are same, right? If I say is Tom's height greater than or equals to uh, Mark's height, then it is true actually. Okay, always remember this um, relational operator, right? Now what I can do is I can even combine these two statements. So moving forward, when we move uh, talk about uh, um, boolean logical operators so we spoke about something as a relational operator okay it checks the relationship between left hand and right hand side operands uh, but talking about the boolean logical operator okay so what are these things actually so for instance um, okay now talking about the relational operator it checks the left hand side and the right hand side whether it is equals not equals greater than uh, less than what not right but when you talk about the Boolean logical operator, it basically checks whether um, the left-hand side statement is true, left-hand side and the right-hand side statement is true or not. So let's think about an example here. Now, taking the same uh, relational operator um, example here, what I'm going to do is I am going to do something like this, right? My objective is that if uh, Tom's height uh 
is not equals to Peter's height. Okay. So I have uh, two things here. One is Tom's height, one is Peter's height. Okay. So I'll take this combination with this and this combination with this. So let's assume I'm just going to make it as uh, four feet. So these two are friends. Now they are trying to compare something with the, uh, with Peter's height. And if uh, the combination is true, then I will do something out of it. Okay. Now let's do this. Um, the very first thing is I will check if Tom's height is greater than, or let's say if Tom's height is less than Peter's height. Okay. So I'll just comment out every single thing out here so that we do not mix and match. Or let's do another thing. I'll just create a new file and dump it out there. So I'll just name this as a Boolean logical operator. Okay. All right, here we go. Boolean logical operator and uh, operator out here. Oh, oh my bad. There is a class here. Okay. All right. So we'll just remove everything out here. Now check for something out here. Okay. So initially, what I did is I just use uh, sys out, and I'm just basically checking here as um, uh, Tom height. Is it uh, greater than or equals to, let's say, Peter height, right? And we know that this statement is going to give us a false statement because Tom's height is not even greater than, not even equals to Peter's height. Right, so come here, paste it. So let's run this real quick and see what's the output. And now, when we have multiple statements, like uh, this is one condition, this is another, uh, you're trying to concatenate with it. So you basically need to put that in a another bracket here. Just remember this, otherwise, uh, you'll be having a problems. Okay. All right. Uh, I think Dinesh has joined back. Dinesh, you are able to hear me now. Can you just quickly get a give me a response, please. Okay, so let me run this, run as Java application. Now you can see this, uh, I'm getting the result out here as a Tom site is greater than or equal to Peter site. Now what I'm going to do is, um, as I said in the previous example, if you guys still remember that, I know this is kind of a, uh, the output is either true or false, right? I can store this in a variable also. So I would just say, um, let's say Boolean condition one. So I'm just giving a condition one, something like this. And I know the output of Tom height is greater than or equal to Peter's height is obviously going to be a true or false, okay? Because these are all uh, our relational operator. The relation is equals to, is it equals to, yes or no? Yes, it might be a yes, or it might be a no, okay? So likewise, um, all these things I can use it and uh, this is going to give me a result of true or false. If I'm using on anything on the left hand side, anything on the right hand side, it'll either give me a true or a false. Okay. Now, likewise, instead of this condition, I would just copy this one and put it here. I think this is pretty clear guys, right? For everyone. I'm just trying to, uh, instead of putting this value here directly, I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to use it here. And whatever the result I get it, because I'm, I know I'm going to get it as a true or false, I'm going to store it in a Boolean um, value. Okay, so this is condition one. Fine. So now the condition two, Boolean condition two. Now the condition two, I want to say that if uh, uh, mark height, okay, so mark height is less than or equal if it is less than or equals to um let's say tom site so i'm just mixing and matching things guys okay now this is my second condition right so if i come back here says sys out and i would just um copy this 
paste it here, not this, this statement, in fact. Copy this, paste this here, okay? And give us colon here, copy this, and paste it here. All right, I think this is again pretty much clear. Let me run this again. Right, so this is true and this is false for me. Now, what I want to do is based out of these conditions, I mean, based out of this output and this output, I want to do something actually. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to say now, sys out, okay, um, condition one, one, okay, now let's go back here. Uh, condition one and let's say condition let's say i'm going to use one of the boolean logical operator as short circuit and okay so first understand this one i'm going to say condition one and condition two right now see this uh this is a true or a false this is also or it is a true or a false right now based out of these two conditions right so uh, I mean, when you uh, give do anything, you say, okay, if um, I eat uh, this much of uh, rice, right? And if I eat this much of, um, uh, let's say, uh, some curry, right? Then only I can be a healthy person, right? Makes sense, right? So, I mean, you're saying if this is... Uh, when I say if I eat this much of rice, assume like I eat, eat uh, one pound of rice a day. If I eat one pound of rice a day, and if I eat half a pound of curry or some good things, then only I can be a healthy person. So you are using two different conditions and you're combining it together. So this is condition one, condition two. If I run this, so let me just copy this one. Okay, so now again, as I said, you need to use a bracket out here, run as your application. Now see this, you're getting something as a false here, right? So what is the objective here is that even though you are using, uh, using these conditions here, right? On the left-hand side, it is it can be a true or a false, but if you talk about the relational operator, right? See this in this relational operator we know this is a relational operator correct so i can even put a comment here i can say relational operator so this is a comment on the right hand side of the code itself guys you can put it here you can put it here okay so either way is good but if you want to put a comment exactly on the line itself then you just need to say slash slash and this is your comment here so this is a relational operator when a relational operator left hand side is not a boolean right hand side is not a boolean Right, you cannot say a boolean is greater than a boolean or not. Right, so this is some uh, some data type. This is also of some data type. Right, 